Hi friends, this is Ashutosh Jha, Director of the Migration Bureau, and we are back with a new video. In our video series of European Work Permit, today we will be talking about Work Permit for Croatia. So without any further ado, let's get started. As a member of the European Union experiencing growth and economic stability, Croatia is a great place for companies and workers. If you are planning to move to Croatia for work, you need to make sure that you get your work visa in place. Without these visas in place, you could face fines or delays due to non-compliance. People planning to work in Croatia will need a work permit and a residence permit. As Croatia is part of the European Union, most of the European Union citizens can work and live in Croatia without the need of a visa. If you are from outside of EU, then you will need to apply for a work permit through your local Republic of Croatia diplomatic mission. Most Croatian work permits and residence permits are valid for 12 months. However, Croatia does allow the applicants to apply and extend their work permits or residence permits 60 days prior to the expiration of their visa or the residence cards in order to stay and work in the country. Croatia is also part of the EU Blue Card Network, which could help third country nationals as the Blue Card is valid for two years. While the work and residence permit combination may be the most common way for the employees to receive their work visas in Croatia, some may be eligible for work registration certificate. These certificates are typically for performers, journalists, and members of the religious orders. Croatia uses a quota system for work and residence permits. That means an applicant will only receive a work permit if the country is below its quota, even if the individual meets all the criteria. Occasionally, the country offers work permits to applicants even after reaching the limit. However, the applicant has to prove their suitability to the role and explain why could it not be filled locally. All applicants need certain documents, including a copy of their passport, a passport size photo, proof of their ability to support themselves while in Croatia, evidence of health insurance, an employment contract, proof of academic qualifications and skills, and lastly, evidence of their company's registration. Employees looking for an EU Blue Card must be from outside of the European Union and should have a bachelor's degree or at least five years of senior professional experience. They should also have a binding job contract or an active work contract. Member states will often fast track the blue card application process, thereby making it faster than the traditional work and residence permit processes. The Croatia work visa application process depends on the type of the specific visa and also the working of the local embassies. For instance, in some local embassies, they do not have an application process but they work on a first-come, first-serve basis. To initiate the process, the applicant needs to go to their nearest or local administrative police station to their Croatian residence or the embassy consulate in their country. Next, they should submit all the documents listed above alongside the application. Once a work and residence permit gets approved, the individual must pay 870 kuna for issuing the work permit alongside a separate biometric residence permit and administrative fees. Croatia will order the residence permit once all the fees are paid and you could pick up your work permit or the residence card at your police station after 21 days. EU Blue Card holders can take their family members like spouse, children, and other dependents to Croatia. Others with the normal work or residence visa 
will have to apply for their families to come to Croatia. This process should take place at the local consulate or the embassy and it should include a valid travel document, proof of relationship, proof of sufficient funds and evidence of adequate health insurance. So friends, this brings us to the end of our brief and informative video. I hope now you've got a better understanding of the work permit process and the EU blue card process for working in Croatia. If you got value out of this video, please like, comment and share the video. And for more information, log on to our website, which is mentioned in the link below. And please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ashutosh Jha, Director of the Migration Bureau, signing off. Until next time.